Hello everyone. Welcome to the episode number 40 of Q&A series with Suresh GP. Today, we are going to talk about a very important topic as the challenges in implementing DevSecOps. So I'm going to highlight five key elements that are challenges when it is associated with DevSecOps. Number one, complexity in the cloud. According to the 2021 Flexera State of Cloud report, 92% of organizations are using multiple public clouds. So with that, they use a wide range of cloud services and heavily leverage automation, both of which makes it difficult for security to be kept up to date. Continuous infrastructure security, compliance assurance and data security pose big challenges. Number two, tool sprawl and alert fatigue. As you are aware, as the companies evolve towards a multi-cloud environment and rapid exploration of services, there are too many tools that are positioned as part of the tool chain. Now, as a result, the security professionals are flooded with most high volume alerts from each tool, making it very difficult to focus on the most important fixes. So without risk based prioritization, developers and security teams might spend time on issues that might not represent the true risk of the organization. Number three, compatibility issues. As you are aware, the DevSecOps teams, the DevOps teams uses many open source tools, including a repository of frameworks, codes, libraries, and templates. While these tools boost productivity, they can also introduce a lot of challenges if the security audits are not done properly. Some of the common challenges will include continuous access to the variety of tools, inducing continuous and consistent security mechanism compatible with the tools and techniques to mitigate security issues throughout the life cycle of the development process. Number four, identifying and fixing vulnerabilities. As per the Security Boulevard report, 50% apps are always vulnerable to attack at organizations that have not adopted DevSecOps as opposed to 22% at organizations which are mature DevOps approach. Now, which means we need to ensure that security testing is taken throughout the entire life cycle and not just at the fag end of the life cycle. The fifth element, which is important, is balancing speed and security. While developers are focused on releasing new features and functionality every two to four weeks, the security team is inundated to make a check and balance. Now, keeping pace with the legacy tools and processes to the way of deployment becomes a huge challenge. Finally, regulatory compliance and audit mandates have made it much more difficult when it comes to DevSecOps implementation. Organizations today are subjected to stringent evolving compliance landscape and time consuming audits. The risk of not following compliance and regulatory standards can lead to financial losses as well as reputational damage. So you need to enable audit readiness and a constant state of compliance in a challenging dynamic DevOps environment. So these are some of those key challenges that we observe when you deal with DevSecOps implementation. I hope that this episode was useful for you to understand the different kind of challenges that are involved in implementing DevSecOps. I look forward to talking with you the next five elements of challenges that are involved in DevSecOps implementation in our next episode. Thank you so much for watching and let us know your comments and thoughts for the next questions around DevSecOps. Thank you very much.